So in this video we will add a rifle to our police officer. For that open up your browser and on the unity asset store search for this package which is by the name of rifle and this is the developer name. And just simply download this rifle from the unity asset store. Add this to your asset. Just as you can see it is showing this button so I will just simply click on it and click accept. And once you added this then it will show this button open in unity we will click on this open in unity but before this let me tell you that you can use your own rifle if you want to use so let's go ahead and click on it click on open unity editor and it will open up this package manager download this package and once this is downloaded then just simply click on import and it will give you this file so just click, simply click on import again and now if we close this right here if we click on rifle prefab right here we have the rifle prefab right here let me remove the animator from this prefab because we don't need any animator on the rifle now if you drag and drop it inside the environment as you can see there is the rifle now let, let me click on prefab and back completely and then let's click on the police officer then let's go inside the reference then in the spine spine one spine two right shoulder then right arm right forearm right hand then inside the right hand we have the right thumb okay we don't need to go anymore inside of the hand of the rifle we just simply will drag and drop this inside the right hand thumb one once you do that let me click on the rifle and reset the transform of it and as you can see there is the rifle and what we can do with the rifle is we can decrease the rifle size to 0.8 0.8 and then 0.8 because this rifle is a lot more bigger than the player body we can actually make this 0.5 yep this will be enough or you can change it to 0.6 if you want these values can be different for your game but for mine this 0.6 is enough okay so once you have added the rifle to the player hand click on the animator okay or you can open up the controller animator controller of the police officer and just for setting up the rifle position duplicate the shooting animation and then click on this shooting animator and set this as the default animation and then if you click on the police officer let me disable both of the script so that the police officer doesn't move forward and it will just play the shooting animation now as you can see the police officer is shooting the animation okay if we check out the animator as you can see right there now if we change back to the scene view now let's set the rifle in the police hand so if we expand that click on rifle let's rotate the rifle on that side then on this side okay for now we don't have the collider on the police officers that's why they are passing within the body of the police officer okay but once we added the collider this will not be an issue then for now just focus up on the rifle and try to set the rifle in the police officer hand I think like this it will look good so what we can do we can just simply click on copy component just double copy the component i mean the transform of the rifle and then stop the game and as you can see the values are gone now we can just simply click on paste component values 
and as you can see the rifle is set again to the police officer hand now if you play the game again and now let's walk towards the police officer there as you can see the police officer is holding the rifle in his hand so in this way you can add the rifle to the police officer now let me just delete that animation and set the walk animation as the default player again now if we just simply play the game on the maximize window now as you can see the police is holding down the rifle in his hand but the police officer is not working because we have disabled the script but you can notice that the rifle in the police hand is looking perfectly fine it looks really beautiful as you can see let me now stop the game and just simply activate these two scripts and now the police officer will be able to walk again as you can see now the police officer is walking again so now we have the animations ready right here for walking running and everything now in the next video we will add the shooting animation and then we will check and test all of the animation one by one so with this done see you guys in the next one